hello everyone welcome back to my channel so before starting this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe now let's start this video china's maritime law in the south china sea apart from military power china has been using a variety of political economic and legal tools to further gain control of the south china sea also known as the ec the recent change in the Chinese Maritime Traffic Safety Law (MTSL) is another step in its new grey area strategy, which raises serious concern from neighboring countries in the region. In general, the new law tightens the control of China over vessels that pass through the Chinese territorial sea. However, due to China's current claims over the per However, due to China's current claims over the Parasol and Spratly Island, the free passage of vessels in international waters is also affected. The international legal norm regarding innocence passage through territorial seas under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea unclosed the, the sovereignty of coastal state extend beyond its land territory and internal waters to an adjacent belt of sea described as the territorial sea the territorial sea may extend an at maximum of 12 nautical miles from the baseline of the coastal state for island belonging for island belonging to a state the regime of the territorial sea is also applied it should be noted that an island is defined as an area of islands satisfying the following conditions form naturally surrounded by waters and be above water at high tide the passage of vessel passing through the territorial sea of another state is deemed in a sense as long as it is not prejudicial to the peace good order or security of the coastal state UNCLOSE also provides a general list of criteria to define innocent passage. Furthermore, UNCLOSE also grants the coastal state the right to take necessary means to prevent and curb any passage that is not innocent. However, there is no specific guidance on such means and the state may exercise its so sovereignty in issuing and enforcing regulation related to the matter. The legal requirement of China's new MTSL regarding the innocent passage through territorial seas. First, the increase of China's control in South China Sea as prescribed by the new law. The earlier 1992 law on the territorial sea and contiguous zone of China provided that foreign military ships needed permission to enter its territorial waters. Submarines needed to transit on the surface and ships carrying toxic material have to have required documentation and take precautions in handling in handling cargo. The new MTSL makes several changes to this requirement in which foreign operators of submersibles, nuclear vessel, ship carrying radioactive material and ship carrying book oil chemical, liquefied gas, and other toxic and harmful substances to provide detailed information including the vessel name, call signs, current position, cargo, port of call, and estimate time of arrival upon the, their visits to China's territorial waters. The new MTSL grants China the power to establish shipbuilding and reporting areas traffic control areas and restricted navigation areas ship passing through important fishing waters areas with dense maritime traffic ship routing areas and traffic control areas must strengthen their lookout maintain safe speeds and comply with special navigation rules the new mtsl enhanced the enforcement of the revised china coast guard law passed in February 2021. It's asserted that foreign warship and other government vessels used for non-commercial purpose 
which violate Chinese laws and regulation while engaged in innocent passage shall be dealt with all necessary means in accordance with the Willer van laws and administrative regulation. In general, the new law does not directly oppose the provision of unclosed. The new law states ambi ambiguous definition of applicable types of vessels and circumstances that may be threats to China's national security. Also, this scope, under loose interpretation, might include any type of vessels that the Chinese authority deems dangerous at their own discretion, including fishing boats as well as coast guard ship of neighboring nation. However, it is risky for China it is risky for China to restrict the right in a sense passage exercised by foreign vessels in its territorial sea. Heavy requirement on the announcement and information submission can cause challenges or blocks the passage from the from those vessels. The enforcement and sanction imposed under the relevant laws and administration Attractive regulation are also ambiguous and too wide ranging. It can be considered another restriction of the innocent passage right provided under the unclosed, the unlawful claim of China in the South China Sea. As the applicable geographical area of the new MTSL is China's territorial sea, China's wrongful claim of this area is the main reason why the new law post much restriction of the free innocent passage in South as and the in South China Sea. The MTSL applies to area of sea within China's jurisdiction. However, what areas are China's territorial sea are unclear. If China, if China abides with international law and exercises its power in the legitimate territorial sea within the twelve of nautical mile area of its shore baseline, the new MTSL would not raise that much concern. However, China has illegally occupied multiple islets in the parallel and spratly island and developed them into the military bases with regular station troops. Such facilities are also acquired sorry such facilities are also acquired with our defense system, strategic runways, and piers for naval vessels. By conducting such action, China has been attempting to convert the Arctic islets into landmass and treat them as islands. China has tried to base such artificial islet to establish the territorial waters a 12 nautical miles surrounding area. This is Baltan attempt to circumvent the regulation of UNCLOS. First, UNCLOS only recognized the territorial sea area established based on naturally formed, surrounded by waters and be above water at tight tight at high tide. Meanwhile, apart from the illegal occupation, China has changed the status of many islets and recognized this islet as the legitimate ground to establish territorial sea. There of impose passage restriction despite unclosed. Second, in the dispute brought by the Philippines against China in 2016, the Special Arbitral Tribunal already dismissed China's claims over the generation of maritime zones based on the sur such artificial island. China, however, doesn't recognize the true the ruling and has continued with their military expansion in the area. The coach of the new laws enforcement, the United States US Navy's seventh fleet announced of the entry of a US warship close to Mischief Reef called the Fan Khan in Vietnamese which is portion of the Spratly Island and has been illegally claimed and occupied by China. On 8 September 2021, just a week after the new MTSL came into force, the US warship was operating and sailing near Mischief Reef, where the territorial sea area was claimed by China. The Seventh Fleet also, defi the seventh fleet also denied that this was 
chased away by Chinese warship and aircraft. Despite not being a party to UNCLOSE, the US state that the natural state of Mischief Reef is not entitled to a territorial sea and therefore the land reclamation effort, installation, and structures built on this feature do not change its characterization of international laws. Okay, that's all the article today. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next article. Bye-bye.